Hi, I'm Peggy Farron with Understand Photography. Today we're going to talk about how to make a spare bedroom into a home photography studio. Materials you'll need. A speed light. The more power, the better. You can buy a used Canon 550 or 580 EX or a Nikon SB800 for about $250 or $300. Inexpensive triggers. Cactuses, Yang Yo, and Cowboy all make very inexpensive triggers that are less than $40 a set. An umbrella bracket for your speed light, which is maybe $10 to $25 a 40-inch white reflective umbrella, again $20, $30, an 8 or 9 foot light stand, and a large reflector. It's optional to buy a background stand. You'll pay about $100 for a decent one, but you really don't need one. You can use the wall or you can even tape a background to the wall to get started. Another thing you want to think about is to make sure that your bedroom walls are painted white or pale gray. If you have colored walls, that color will reflect and give a color cast to your photographs. And you're also going to need at least 10 feet by 10 feet in space. So you put them all together like this. Screw the umbrella bracket onto the light stand securely. Check the channel on the receiver and transmitter to make sure that they're on the same channel. They work like a walkie-talkie. They need to be on the same channel to communicate with each other. Attach your flash to the receiver, and in this case I have to turn my receiver on first because the flash covers the on and off switch. Attach the speed light and receiver onto the umbrella bracket. Add the umbrella through the hole. Attach the transmitter to the hot shoe on your camera, and you're good to go. Place your light at a 45 degree angle from your subject. Rest your silver reflector on the opposite side about four, maybe three to four feet from your subject. Your reflector is going to act as your fill light. Turn your speed light on and put it in the manual mode. One over one is full power and then you can turn it down. One sixty-fourth power and some all the way down to one one twenty-eighth power. I suggest starting at about one eighth power since it's in the middle. I'm Peggy Farron with Understand Photography. Thanks for watching How to Make a Spare Bedroom into a Home Photography Studio.